The Papadopoulos guilty plea could be the tip of a dangerous iceberg for President Trump. That's the word from our chief legal analyst, Judge Andrew Napolitano. George Papadopoulos, the campaign official, the foreign policy advisor, admitted that he lied to the FBI about his contacts with Russia and a professor offering dirt on Hillary Clinton. He lied about the timing of that. He lied when he said he was not a member of the campaign during any of that. And the plea deal happened 38 days after they arrested him. It was 38 days. The original charges, those original charges against him, the original charges against him included obstruction of justice. But now he is charged only with lying. Why did that happen? We'll get to that. Analysts say Robert Mueller's decision to reveal all of this now, he certainly did not have to, sends a message that Papadopoulos could be giving the special counsel some key information. Fox News senior judicial analyst Judge Adrian Napolitano is here. You think he wore a wire? I think he wore a wire. You're not alone. No, right. And I, and I don't know when he wore the wire. He either wore it between the time of his arrest and the time of his guilty plea or the time of his guilty plea and the revelation of the existence of the guilty plea yesterday. This is a very unusual guilty plea, Shep. How so? It occurred in secret. The doors to the courtroom were locked and the documents referencing the existence of the guilty plea were kept under seal by order of the judge. Now, in order for a judge to do this, Prosecutors and defense counsel must both request the secrecy and the government must persuade the judge that the failure to maintain secrecy will materially interfere with an ongoing criminal investigation. Translate, he's become one of our witnesses. He's probably wearing a wire. We're going to send him to talk to some people. If they know he's pleaded guilty because you make this public, Your Honor, then you'll defeat our criminal investigation. The judge says, okay. Second, the original charge, as you just said, against him was obstruction of justice. 20 years. 20, up to 20 years in prison. Right. Lying to the FBI? Five. In addition. If he tells the... But, but he was never charged with the obstruction know, of justice. I know, but had he been. Correct. That tells me he has already provided significant assistance to the government already for them to reduce the 20 down to five. He now wants that five years to go down to six months. And it could. And it could. And he could also get probation depending upon what else he provides them. Now, here's the thing. He, along the way, the first, first of all, there were contacts with Russians repeatedly. Right. The campaign knew of these, according to the documents that are inside the indictment. Uh, the campaign encouraged him on August the 15th of 2016, according to the indictment, the campaign encouraged Papadopoulos to make a trip to Russia if feasible. January 24th, the FBI is investigating interference here and speaks to Michael Flynn. They interview Michael Flynn. Two days later, January 26th, Sally Yates goes to the White House. She was the acting attorney general at the time. Correct. And she said that Flynn has lied and that Flynn is subject to blackmail or vulnerable to blackmail by the Russians. Right. The next day. January 27th, Papadopoulos, who's already gone to Italy to meet about Russians, who's gone to, to many different places to meet about Russians, including London, Papadopoulos is coming back into Dulles Airport in Virginia, near Washington. And when he lands, they arrest him. Nobody saw this, told of this, not really sure, but no, no, they interviewed him. And on that it day, they, a voluntary voluntary they told him, you don't have to meet with us. Anything you say can be used against you. You can call your lawyer right now. He says, I have nothing to worry about. I'll talk to you. I, 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 none of my Russia contacts, none of that happened during the campaign. Right. I wasn't even a campaign official yet. He lied about that. They knew at the time he lied to them that he was lying because they had verified where he had been and when he had joined the campaign before the interview. Now think about that. That was January the 27th. That was when, that was when he lied to the officials, said I wasn't even in the campaign. Right. All of February goes by. All of March goes by. All of April goes by. The investigation is underway. All of June goes by. He's still on the campaign. July goes by. July the 27th. So we were at January 27th. Now we're at July the 27th. He is arrested at... in there. Correct. We don't know exactly where. 38 lawyer, days in the His middle. lawyers negotiate a deal uh, with the government. And their original charges, obstruction of justice, 
from 20 years in jail is reduced to lying to the end. We've got to charge it with lying to the FBI because we have to hold something over your head. We have to keep your feet to the fire. Now, the documents indicate that on January 27th, when he lied, they knew it. So between January 27th, when he lied to them, and J July the 27th, when they arrested him, were they following him? Well, there's one other interview in that time period with his lawyers, and it's unclear if he lied again or if he, re if he repeated what he said or if he tried to tell the truth. It didn't change the FBI's mind on a couple of things. One, that in fact he lied to them in January. Two, he was a worthy government witness that they wanted to work with. Three, they were going to offer a deal to the lawyers right then and there. Your guy helps us out and obstru obstruction of justice goes away. When he pleaded guilty on October the 5th, right. early, earlier this month, this is Halloween, when he pleaded guilty on October the 5th, right. he was still a cooperating witness and he's a cooperating witness to this day and he must remain such. Correct. The only thing he's probably not doing today is wearing a wire because nobody will talk to him. But he probably was wearing that wire between October 5th reason for the secret guilty plea and the revelation of the guilty plea yesterday. On January 26, Sally Yates went to the White House and said Flynn is vulnerable. Flynn could be blackmailed. General Flynn or Michael Flynn resigned on February the 13th. Right. There's been no mention of Michael Flynn. None at all. Honestly, you know, our colleagues tried to get me to guess who was going to be indicted yesterday. Last week when they were playing the guessing game and I didn't want to do it, but in my mind I thought it would be General Flynn. It has. It is not. The general, I'm sure, has lawyers who are involved with uh, Bob Mueller's office. I don't know if they're pursuing him or if he's working with them. And we do not know whether he's been cooperated. Correct. But I think we'll know soon. You think that's next? I do. I, I think Bob Mueller has sent a message to the whole legal and judicial and political community. He's serious. He's got serious people working for him. They have gathered serious evidence. Wait for the next shoot. The sure president drop. says this is all fake news. Uh, 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 this is serious stuff. It's not fake. Manafort and Gates are charged with enough time, enough jail time to put them in jail for the rest of their lives. That will cause their lawyers to start negotiating with Bob Mueller.